Today we'll take a look at the new table view edit model we introduced for Tornado FX table views. The point of the table model is to give you a way to mark dirty columns and also commit or roll back changes to columns. So to demonstrate this, let's start with an, uh, a customer object which has an ID, a first name and a last name. Let's create a view and uh, instantiate a, a table view as the root node of this view. The table view will call a function called create sample data, which just creates two customers and turns it into an observable list. So first let's add some columns and we'll use the add table view column function to, uh, to find the columns in the customer object and add them. Actually, we don't need the ID field, so we'll remove it. Next, we'll enable the cell editing feature. That makes it possible to, to navigate between cells and also edit individual cells. Next thing we want to do is enable dirty tracking. And dirty tracking is what's going to tell us if uh, the data for a specific column is dirty or not. Dirty meaning that it's changed from what's currently in the backing object. Already now we could uh, uh, run this sample, at least if we make these fields editable as well. Let's real quick just run this. And you can see that when I make a change to an object, it's marked as dirty. But we have no way of interacting with the, uh, the commit or rollback from the edit model. So let's set, out, set that up. What we need to do first is uh, have a way of uh, saving uh, a row. And uh, to do that, we're actually going to use the workspace. So let's introduce a customer app, which is a workspace app. And by default, it will show our customer list as the first docked view. If you run it now, we will get the default workspace buttons. And we can use those here for save and rollback, for example. To do that, we will uh, first configure the save button. So we can say that we want to save, uh, or actually when saved, that means when the, the save button is uh, clicked, we want to access the edit model of our uh, table view and call uh, commit selected. So this will commit the selected uh, row. Also, when refreshed, this will kick in whenever we click the refresh button. We will call edit model um, rollback selected. Also, we would like the save button to only be available when uh, there are uh, something dirty in the column that we're currently on. So to do that, we will say it's savable when the edit model selected item is dirty. Also, we'll do the same for refresh, refreshable when. Let's run again. Let's make a change to Jane. You can see that it's marked dirty. And if we commit, Jane X is now the committed value for this field. If we change it again and we hit uh, rollback, we get Jane X back. So if I make a change here, and then go to the Jane row, you can see the buttons are not available. If we go back, we can uh, roll back. So this is uh, an easy way to connect the workspace buttons to uh, the functionality that we want, wanted to. But let's say we don't want to use these default buttons. We want to create our own buttons. So first we override on dock and uh, let's work a little with the workspace. First we could uh, disable the save button. Just hide it actually. And now let's do the same for the refresh button. Now we want to add our own buttons in here. So let's say we create a button called uh, commit called commit row. And uh, we need to do something whenever this button is clicked. We also would like to have a button called uh, roll back row. 
The issue we now face is that we need access to this edit model and the edit model we could access real easily inside here because uh, we're inside the table view when we declare these functions. But now we need to have access to it from the outside. So let's do, for example, uh, uh, we'll just call it uh, edit state, which will be a table view edit model for a customer by a single assign. Now we we must uh, connect to the single to the edit state function the edit model of the table view. And we'll do edit state uh, will be the edit model. Now let's remove all this and re-implement down here. Or actually, we could keep the the no, we can't. We need to to move all this. So to commit a role, we can call this edit state commit selected. To roll back a row, we do edit state roll back selected. We also want to have this button enabled when the edit state selected item is dirty. And the same goes to the roll back row button actually. Let's see if this still works. The buttons are available. If I go to this non-dirty row, they're not available. Now let's do a rollback on this one. So it was pretty easy to create our own buttons, but we had to change the strategy to access the edit model a little. So if you can, of course, it's uh, easier to use the included save button and the refresh button. But this uh, should give you an idea on how you can connect uh, your own buttons to the table view editor. Thank you for watching.